Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you watched this video today, I'm going to be teaching you how you can put together your front cover, your back cover. I will teach you step by step how to upload your word search puzzle onto the Amazon KDP platform. Let's begin. Right now on the screen, what you're looking at is the book cover that I designed on the last video, but you can't upload this book cover, the front cover and the back cover like this on Amazon KDP. You actually have to put them together into one document. I'm going to teach you how to do that. The one thing that you will need before we move forward and create the right dimensions for this book cover is something called the KDP calculator, which you're looking at right now. The KDP calculator is what's going to give you the book dimensions for your book. It's going to ask you what's the size. 8.5 by 11 is exactly the size that we have for each page of our word search puzzle. And now here it's going to ask you the number of pages. Now I'm going to go back. Okay. And I'm going to show you how many pages this word search puzzle has. Where are you going to get the number of pages for your book? That's simple. Remember how in the last video I showed you how to generate the word search puzzle pages. Well, we're going to go back to that file and we're going to see how many pages that file has. So we're going to go back. This is the word search puzzle manuscript. These are all the pages for the word search puzzle. Okay. And it says 63 on the top. It says that there are 63 pages. Why? We're going to go all the way at the bottom. The generator that I love to use, which I'm going to put the link down below, provides you with not only the puzzle pages, but also the answers and solutions. These are the solutions right here. So here we have it. We This manuscript, like the interior of the book, is going to be a total of 63 pages. Okay. I'm going to go back to the KDP calculator. And here where it says number of pages, okay, I'm going to put 63. And what are we creating? We are creating the book cover. So we clicked on cover. Now here we have the exact dimensions for the book cover. This is exactly what it's, what it has to look like. You see how it's wide and it has a here on this side is the it's going to be the front cover and here to the left is going to be the back cover so we have to put what we design we have to put it together and how we need these dimensions are very important right here to the right hand side where i'm pointing it says 11.25 that's very important that's the height and then the width as you can see here the third orange line it says 17.39188 that those are the dimensions that we're going to choose for the width Okay. And this is going to be in inches. So now what do we do? Where do we go? We go back to Canva. Okay. Before we can go ahead and create a brand new document with those brand new dimensions. Okay. We need to make sure that we download this first page and this second page. Okay. As PNG files. So we're going to go here. We're going to download, okay, as a PNG file. You see how it says current page? One page at a time individually. Once that has been downloaded onto your computer, you're going to go here to uploads and you're going to upload those PNG files onto Canva. I have already done so and they're here to the left hand side, the front cover and the back cover. Perfect. We're done. Now that we're done, we're going to go back to the home, to Canva home, and we're going to go to create a design. We're going to click on that. We're going to go all the way down to the left at the bottom where it says custom size. And we're going to change the pixels, the PX into inches. We're going to add the dimensions that we have from the KDP calculator, which is again, it's a document you can go ahead and download for free by clicking on the link down below. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get those measurements. The height is 11.25 height, 11.25. The width on the other hand is 17.39188. 
17. Okay, 398. Okay, perfect. If you notice, it changed numbers. The reason why is because Canva will automatically estimate and round. Now that you have this here, okay, the easiest way to approach this process is the following. You see how it's wide? This document is wide. Now, what we're going to do is click on uploads and we're going to upload that front cover. We're going to drag it all the way to the corner. Okay. Then we're going to expand it. Okay. And then we're going to choose a color for the background. Let me show you. We're going to choose background color. And you see how here where it says photo colors, Canva already generated the color scheme that you already have going on in your front cover. So you can choose one of these colors because it's going to create the book spine. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and go back to uploads. We're going to click on that back cover that we have. We're going to grab that, drag it all the way to the left, and we are going to expand it. Okay. And there you have a book cover, but now you can go ahead and create a small spine just like that by doing exactly what I just did. What do you do to create a spine? You just go ahead and click here. You drag it one time. If you don't want a book spine, that's totally fine. You can go ahead and click on this and all you have to do is expand it. If you don't want the spine, all you have to do is go back to that background color and choose the dominant color here under your color scheme. And that's it. You don't have a spine. This is exactly the book cover that you're going to upload onto the Amazon KDP platform. And before you do that, you need to go ahead and download it. And you have to download it not as a PNG. You have to download it as a PDF print. Okay. You have the PDF print. Make sure you have, and it says PDF print. We're going to download that. You will need to upload two things onto the Amazon KDP platform to publish it. You have a full book, book cover. Okay. You have a book cover and you have the interior pages of your word search puzzle book. That's it. Now you're ready to go onto the Amazon KDP platform. And if you do not have an account with Amazon KDP, Go ahead and create one. It's completely free. We go on to Amazon KDP and here where it says self publishing Amazon Kindle direct publishing. That's exactly where you're going to go to create your account and begin publishing books. I already have an account, so I'm going to go to my account. When you're here, what do you do? You go on to here where it says create. You're going to click on create and what you're creating is a word search puzzle book. So you're going to not you're not going to choose an ebook, you're going to choose a paperback. So we're going to create a paperback. So for book title, the word search puzzle that we have is a word search puzzle for fifth graders. So I'm going to write word search puzzle for fifth graders. That's exactly what I have on my front cover Okay, for fifth graders. Under subtitle, I'm going to add high frequency words. High frequency words. Perfect. I'm going to scroll down and here a series. If you're building a series, it's going to ask you to include a description about the series that you're creating for these books. Edition number. You only use that if you have already released a book and you are releasing a new edition of that book. That does not apply here. For the author section, remember how I talked to you about creating a brand? This is where you can go ahead and add your brand, you can create the brand and that's what you're going to put as a first, first name and last name. Okay. Let's say the brand will be uh, word search puzzles, word search. And then for last name, I'm going to put puzzle, puzzles, word search puzzles, mm, mania. Now contributors, that's if someone contributed and you want to go ahead and add their name. 
If you do not know what to add for your description, all you have to do is go on ChatGPT and you can use it to assist you in writing a good description for your book. Go on Google, which we're going to do right now. And as you can see here, I have ChatGPT here. All you have to do is click on search. And if you can see that first option where it says chat open AI, that's exactly what you're going to click. You're going to create an account all by using just your email. We are here on ChatGPT and I'm going to go ahead and give it a prompt. Write a book description for a fifth grade word search puzzle that includes high frequency words. Okay, let's go ahead and just edit this for a moment and we're going to go ahead and click on enter. And we are ready. Now, as I've said before, you should not use this word for word. You can copy and paste it onto a Microsoft Word document and edit it and make it your own. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it on the KDP book description. Okay. But before that, remember, edit it, make it your own. Now we're going to go scroll down and it it's going to ask you about the publishing rights. And yes, you click on I own the copyright and I hold necessary publishing rights. Perfect. Wonderful. Now it's going to ask a couple of questions. No, it doesn't have any explicit images, reading age. It's going to ask you the ages. Okay. It could be fifth graders are usually maybe like 10 year olds maximum, let's say 12. Perfect. Now let's go here. The primary marketplace, the prefer me, I always choose amazon.com. Okay. Now choosing categories. This is very important because this is what's going to help. Uh, Amazon determine where they're going to put your book. I chose three categories, which is the max. The uh, It's under crafts, hobbies, activity books, and then children's books, education, vocabulary, and spelling, and then crafts, hobbies. I just chose general. Then underneath this, we see how it says, does your book classify as any of these? And yes, it is a low content book. Word search puzzles are considered low content. Under keywords, that's exactly where you're going to add what people may be searching for. They could be searching for word search puzzle for kids. Word, or you could use puzzles for fifth graders you can put activity books and i i can go ahead and create another video on how to choose those keywords based on what people are already searching for on amazon so that it's more accurate and you get more chances of ranking your book on the amazon platform now i'm just going to go ahead and add one more and that could be activity book for kids okay perfect under publication date and release date you have to do nothing there leave that as it is we save and continue under print isbn for low content books there are no isbn numbers so we leave it as it is but you could use your own and that's a topic for another video here under black and white interior, that's exactly what I would use. And then for trim size here at the bottom, we're going to select the size. It's going to be 8.5 by 11. When they talk about bleed settings over here under bleed settings, it basically means in our case, there is no bleed because the images do not extend to the edge of the pages. So no bleed necessary. So we click on no bleed. Then for the paper cover finish, do you want it to look glossy or do you want it to be matte? We can go ahead and do glossy since it's a word search puzzle book. Now here is where we have to upload our manuscript and the book cover. Manuscript refers to the interior pages of your book. We're going to click on upload. And I'm uploading the pages of my book that will upload. We got the green check mark, which means that the manuscript has been successfully uploaded. Now we're going to go here and it says book cover. 
use cover creator. We don't need to launch the cover creator because we already created our book cover. So we're going to click on here where it says upload cover. We're going to go ahead and upload our cover. The one that we just created. Perfect. We got the green check mark. The cover has been uploaded successfully. We're going to scroll down and it's going to ask us AI generated content. Amazon is collecting information about the use of artificial intelligent tools in creating content. Did you use AI tools in creating text images or translations in this book? Yes, we did. For this, for this, we're going to go ahead and click on entire work with minimal or no editing. Let's go ahead and click that. Which tool? We're going to use instant puzzle generator. Instant puzzle generator in your work and then chat GPT because we use two AI tools. Okay. For the text images, none translations, none. We didn't use any images here. So that's perfect. Under book preview, we're going to launch the previewer. It's going to give us a preview of our book and what it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and check that out. This is the quality check part of this process. And where you see, as you can see, we have our book cover. It's ready and we're going to go ahead and go through these pages and it looks perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And now all we have to do is click on approve. We approve. It looks great. It's wonderful. And this is the best part. We can go ahead and click on save and continue. And as you can see here under summary quickly, the printing cost is going to cost $2 and 84 cents to print the book. And it's going to take us to the next section where we choose the pricing for this book. What, what I usually do when I choose pricing is that I go on Amazon and check to see what is, what are the other word search puzzles selling for? And then I'll just choose a price based on that, maybe even reduce 50 cents or a dollar off of the price that it's being sold for. So let's say, for example, here I would put, let's say $4.99. Okay. So it would be $4.99 and it's going to give you exactly your royalty, how much you are going to make. And all that is left for me to do is just to scroll down and click on publish your paperback book. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about Amazon KDP publishing, go ahead and leave me your comments down below. And I will continue to answer your questions by creating videos that can actually help you on your journey to publish your own books. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.